to change. Is this okay with you? Saying apply or choosing apply? Yes, now everything has changed without me. I can move the, to the schema uh, from, you know, the object from one schema to the other also through refactoring. Yes? You can change a lot of stuff. Yes, yes, you can change a lot of stuff. Now, what else do I need to do? Yes. You can actually, by the way, uh, do schema comparison also. Schema comparison is a very nice feature in which I can, you know, I want to compare whether the data, uh, what, what changes have I done, you know, that are different from the database. So I can say, compare this project to the database. You know, I don't think I have the connection yet. So I'll just, you know, write it. Uh, is it like this? I always mess up this this part. This? Okay. SQL to thousand and eight. Anyway, so DAC demo. Click OK. Please compare whatever changes I have here. Now this is actually this is different, by the way. This everybody, this is different from what happens within database project. Because in database project you can through the comparison you can update or generate a script to update the, 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 the schema on the database. This, is not, this, this doesn't happen here. You know why? Because this is the concept. The concept is once you're finished, generate a DAC pack, right? And send it. You, do, you don't modify data or schema directly. You should send it. Anyway, it has detected this. And of, of course, once you click, you can get more details on the differences between here and here, whether they are stored procedure or whatever object you have. Uh, regarding your question, I don't have time to, to no. really answer it very much, but just, no, no, I'm, I'm talking about the gentleman here. There is something called data generate and, uh, generation plan, in which I can say, okay, I can create a plan. Please generate about 50 rows, 100 rows, but this will be done, not in the project, on the real database, okay? You, we do not store data within the project itself. So once we generate the data, you can also do data comparison, by the way. And I've seen many people, you know, get, uh, you know, uh, nightmares from doing data comparisons through the third-party software. No, this is, this is doable from here. You can compare data between two databases. Remember, this is one database. I can extract the DAC pack. I can deploy it to different databases. Mm -hmm. And then I can, you know, monitor whatever differences I have between development, for example, and production servers and know exactly what I need to do. This is a good feature. Do you know that you can extract from 2000? You can extract a data tier application from SQL Server 2000. But the only two The idea is no. Controlling it should be from within a 2008 or two. Now, but yeah, but the answer is yes for, for, for the question. Now, you should deploy it. I mean, this is one way of upgrading your database from SQL Server 2000 to 2008, by the way. This is a new way. Some people told me, yes, uh, we can do that. Extract from 2000, deploy in 2008, and that's it. Just need to get the data. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, that I probably have something else in my slide I, I should talk about. I don't remember. Really. Yeah. Mm, is there anything else? We compared this. Uh, okay, this is just like a summary. Remember, this doesn't include data. Use script. There is post and pre-deployment, uh, which you can run this. So you can use it even for upgrading databases. And of course, this is a question for you. If you know a DB, you can, you can, yes? Actually, uh, you mean put that back, you mean the project, so. Y uh, the output. Uh, the output? The, the output of your project is called a DAC pack. Okay, but it includes scripts only, no data. Uh, no data. You can put the script inside it. Yes. I mean, the, the, that gets the data from somewhere else. But the, 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 the DAC pack itself doesn't contain data. Yeah, so inserts and updates and deletes. Yes, can you can it. just put the script to do this, but you can't actually have the data. Remember also this, uh, go to your DBA and tease him a little. Tell him that these days what's happening is power is going off your hands, right? With SQL Server, also Azure. You know, with Azure, you upload your database to the cloud. And then there's no DB admin, right? Everything is done through the cloud. So people are get, you know, getting this argument. Uh, when we are creating uh, a new stored procedure in uh, stack uh, project. 
Yeah. How can you choose that work correctly? You can run it and uh, from the real data. Uh, can you repeat the question again? When we create a new stored procedure. Yes. Okay. How can I run it? Yes, uh, this is what I did actually. What I did was I added the script file, remember? You just run script. I, I mean when you uh, write create the procedure, it will be created in the real database? No, it will run? not be created unless you run your data. Just will run and the... Yes, everything is offline. This is why I call it offline. Everything is offline until you, you do it to your, let's say, the, ta the test of the staging database. When we deploy it, uh, it must take an old version of database and get it new one. It, it will d d do this for you. Uh, it's optional, but it must be done. No, no, it, it has to be done. This is the way that happens. The data means it must run uh, 2,000 meters. This, this is what I'm telling you. Never use this for mission critical databases. For huge databases, no. But remember, about 95% of uh, actual databases are running in this range, in the 2 gigabyte range. Most of them are small. So this, this kind of a, of a project is you know, focused toward these people, people who are building such projects. For huge projects, no. You should uh, do this only on database projects. Everybody, so with this, I think uh, Actually, it took more time than necessary. Thank you, everybody, and sorry for. <laughs>